Hello ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh my goodness, I am so ready for this warm weather. I don't know about you guys, but I am jacked about the sunshine. Oh my gosh, it's just been so nice out like waking up to the sun shining in the morning and the birds singing and I absolutely love the spring. It's one of my favorite times of the year. So we are just um, rolling into the warmer months and I wanted to share with you some of the, the beauty hacks that we have and some of the things to keep your face in place for the summertime. So um, first of all, I'll, I'll start off with my um, the little, 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 my tongues are tied this morning. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what I put on already. So I love, love our skincare. Of course, um, it's the bread and butter of, of our business and it's where everything begins, right? So you want to start with amazing skincare to have amazing skin, to be able to have an amazing, um, complexion, right? So, um, I am absolutely in love with our TimeWise Repair is what I've been using. It repairs past damage. It helps prevent future aging or at least slow it down. It's not going to stop it. Nothing will that I have found yet, but <clears throat> I'm loving our repair line. So I put on, first of all, where did it go? I put on our Serum C. I love, love it. I left it sitting over here. Two seconds. Okay, Serum C helps to brighten and helps to just um, brighten your complexion. It kind of starts to lift and oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's fabulous. I will talk more about the serums in a separate setting. Um, and then I put on my day cream. So this is part of the repair line SPF 30. So it's really great to be, um, blocking out the UVA and UVB rays. And you're just kind of starting to create a barrier to keep off, off and out the free radicals as well. Okay. So next I love, love, don't leave home without it. Our foundation primer has SPF 15. It has some silica in it, so it's super silky soft. It just helps your makeup to smooth on more evenly. It helps to start filling in fine lines and wrinkles without clogging your pores, which is so great. So it's kind of working like a spackle. So what it's doing is imagine um, if you're roller painting a textured surface, okay? So you're rolling up one way and you can still see paint, um, the, the wall that's not painted beneath. So you have to roll back down the other way to fill in all those gaps. So that's what we're doing with our foundation primer. So we'll go up and out and then also just gently in the pore area and where those fine lines and wrinkles are, just kind of smooth it in. But before I do that, I want to share with you this beauty hack. Also for you oily girls or combo girls, I tend to be more on the combo oily side. And so I'm going to start using this in the summer. This is our oil mattifier. So the great thing about this is that too, you can throw it in your purse and throughout the day, if you suffer from oiliness, throughout the day, you can just rub it a little bit on your fingers and then just dab wherever it is that you're oily and it just sucks up the oil. I don't know how it works. It's magic in a bottle, <laughs> but it's amazing. And we also have these beauty blotters. So again, if you're an oily girl, they look like just little tissue papers. I already used this one so you can see it just, it just absorbs. You just dab it on your face and it just absorbs all of the oil. It's so so great. So throw these in your purse. They're only a couple of bucks. So if you're an oily gal, okay, girls, I'm going to show you how to do this. I love our primer year round SPF 15, super soft and silky, and it just helps to keep your makeup in place. So I'm just starting with a little dab on my fingers and I'm just mixing it with this oil mattifier. I'll put a little bit of that on as well. So you can see both of the things there. Let's get a lid back on here really quick. Okay. So I'm just going to rub it together kind of warm it up between my fingers. And I want to start in the middle of my face because that's where we're starting with all of our color. And then once we get out toward the edges, it all kind of starts to dissipate. So we want the majority of our primer in the middle of our face. And so, like I said, just up and out, but then go back to those areas where you have more pores and just really gently kind of fill in those areas. Okay, perfect. Now, oh my gosh, are you guys ready for this? So I want to show you the CC cream. This is so great. So it's a, like a liquid moisturizer almost. It has SPF 15. So, oh my gosh, you guys are going to be covered with the sunscreen. Okay. Um, 
really great for just dash out the door look if you just want to even out your skin tone and that's it throw on a little mascara this is what you want super lightweight coverage looks very very natural and there are only five shades so super easy to color match too there's um, very light light to medium is what i'm using there's a medium to deep a um deep <laughs> and a very deep so um so super super easy to color match so what i'm going to do is just squeeze it on the back of my hand like this actually you know i want to put on my concealer first sometimes i put it on before sometimes i put it on after i'm going to do it before today okay so we have an under eye corrector which is really amazing if you suffer from blueness of under eye circles we have that as well um and i also have a perfecting concealer and i'm just using the perfecting concealer today what i've been doing i've been putting this on my eyelids because i have got a lot of pigmentation on my eyelids i want to cover that up and make it more even and put the color where i want it so what i've been doing lately is mixing it with a little bit of our foundation primer just because I want it to be a little bit looser consistency and I need a little bit of extra moisture on my eyelids right now. They've been kind of dry lately. So I'm just gonna smear it all over, go even to the inner corner of my eye and I'll go in with my beauty blender in just a minute or my, yeah, my blending sponge in just a minute and just even all that out. And I have some shadows under here. So since I have it mixed with a primer, I'm going to go ahead and put it over my fine lines and wrinkles. Let's call them laugh lines out there. So normally I don't, I wouldn't want to put concealer directly in that area because it is a little bit drying. And that is, um, our under eye area is very susceptible to drying because we don't have a lot of sebaceous glands down there. So it's not able to produce oils like the rest of our skin. So it will dry a little more quickly in that area and get crepey. So we don't want to put any added, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Any added focus on that area. So if we add a little bit of primer into it, I'm just gonna do a little bit more here and mix it together. It loosens it up. It has a little bit of moisture to it and it looks um, way better. All right, so you can also use your concealer for a highlighter and put it on after. I'm gonna go ahead and cover up these spots that I have and I'm gonna put it on directly onto some of those spots that I have just to cover it up. And then we'll go over the top of it with the foundation. So I'm using a color that's a little bit lighter than, um, than my skin tone. And so you could use that as a highlighter as well, but I'm gonna go back over it with the, um, with the foundation to kind of smooth everything out. Okay, so next is our CC cream. So um, it can, complexion correction is what it is. So it um, covers up and just evens out the skin tone. It's so great. And I love our little beauty sponge, blending sponge for this. Um, so you wanna get your sponge wet and it just smooth out so nicely. Nice lightweight coverage. I have read that you can get a heavier coverage with your sponge as well. It just kind of depends on how you're using it. So you can spray it with a setting spray and your makeup stays on all day. I'm gonna use a setting spray at the end. So there's just lots of options and it kind of just depends on what you like. And if you're not sure, just start experimenting with it. So that's the CC cream. And like I said, it's a really lightweight coverage. I'm gonna grab just a little bit more. And oops. one of the things that I love about the tubes that we have, it's great. So if you're running low on color, like if it doesn't pump out anymore, you just cut off the, the top and you have probably another week's worth of color inside. And so what I like to do and this is probably a no brainer for all you girls, but I heard it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so smart. So cut it um, kind of long and then um, you can get inside and clean it out, whatever you need. But then you have this long skinny, you know, this long part that you can just stick back over the top and it keeps all the air out. I was like, oh my gosh, someone's smart. <laughs> oh, I have a little bit left on my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. What the heck? What the heck? Okay. And then I'm gonna flip over my blender where I don't have any color and then just blend it right into my hairline. Perfect. Okay, now let's just wipe off the extra color. We don't need to put it all on. 
I don't want it to look heavy and it shouldn't with um, with using the sponge and um, just with the formula that we have. So we also have another foundation that's really amazing if you want a heavier coverage or if you want more of a matte look and depending upon which tool you use, you get a different kind of coverage with that as well. So um, we have matte and luminous in that and it's called TimeWise 3D. It also has some anti-aging properties and um, oh my gosh, it's so great. And I'll do a separate video about that as well just so you can learn about all of the good things. Okay, so next I'm going to put on our translucent powder. I am, like I said, more of a combo oily girl, so I like to powder my shine. And it's kind of funny because the dry girls want to be luminous and the oily girls want to be matte. So it's just like the girl with the curly hair wanting straight hair. You know, we always want what we don't have. So I just tapped it into my lid. It has a nice little twisty top so you don't have a big mess. I'll just twist it like that. And this stuff is so finely milled, it just smokes. You're not going to have pot powder falling all over the place. Watch this as I'm, it just smokes. It's so great. So great. I'm going to tap off any extra. And um, normally I'm not a huge powder lover, which is kind of strange for an oily gal. I feel like it dries me out too much. Um, but everyone is different. But I love this because it matches any skin tone and it floats above your fine lines and wrinkles because it's so finely milled. So it's not going to accentuate any of that. So this is great also to keep in your purse and during the day um, for any touch-ups, like if you're gonna go out in the evening, cause we can go out now, isn't that great? Um, or just, you know, if you're an oily girl or whatever, sometimes it's just nice to touch up your face during the day. So um, this is really great for that. So this is only $16 for the translucent powder. One of my favorites. Okay, let's do eyes. Are you ready? So some ladies will do their eyes first and that's totally cool. You know, you can do whatever you want. I feel like when I do my eyes, I need to have my face done. Just, I don't know, that's just me. So um, we're gonna do a really natural look today that's really nice for summertime, but it's going to accentuate what you already have. So I love to start with this biscotti um, because it's just really close to my own skin tone. And um, we have another one that's called Sandcastle that's a little bit darker, that's really beautiful as well. So I wanna show you how to create this look with just a couple of colors today. And we're going to use our bronzer in our crease. And it's so pretty, I just love it. So normally I'm not one to put shimmer above my crease, but the shimmer is really subtle on your eyes. So I just really love it. All right, just a nice powdery finish. See how it changes already, the look of what's going on here. So biscotti, and our colors are $8 a pan, and um, our compacts are customizable. So I'll show you all about that in just one second. You can make some really beautiful combinations. You can buy the big pro palette and fill it with all of the things and just have one giant palette full of all of the goodness. So they're magnetic so that the colors don't fall out. This is one of the options. It's our really pretty um, floral pattern. And then this one is gorgeous. I just love the browns and golds together, don't you? Oh, it's so pretty. So you can totally customize this with your bronzer. You could put like two cheek colors. So I have one made already that's um, just cheeks. Where did I put it? Maybe that's the one I was just showing you. Oh my gosh, isn't that so beautiful? And it has the ribbons of gold running through it. And we have a little bit darker one as well. There's a gilded glow and a copper glow. And that's what this one is. It's kind of a mess on the other side, but isn't that so gorgeous? So if you have a little bit darker skin or have been tanning already or getting some color, then you might want to go a little bit darker. So gilded glow and copper glow, those are 18. So you can also, um, if you wanted to do just all eyes, you could do the whole thing with eyes too. So you can do a big square on one side, two skinnies. You can do all little squares, totally customizable. So if you're in the market for some color, Girls, let's chat. Let's chat about it and see how we can give you a deal because I'm a deal shopper and I want to pass that on to you as well. Okay, so now we're going to go on with, I'm going to use the lighter um, bronzer today and I have our all over powder brush. So this is part of the brush collection. You can buy our brushes individually, but if you need the whole set, it's cheaper to buy it um, as a set. So there's the all over powder, there's this angled brush and a smudger brush. And then the big fluffy brush I was doing my powder with and then the cheek brush, which is amazing. So it's angled, 
to chisel and oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. So, so good. So it's really, really helps to have the proper tools. Okay, so I'm just going to dab into my bronzer and what I like to do is just go above the crease. So I'm creating um, some depth here. And when I have my eyes open, I want you to be able to see the color. All right, so we're just blending everywhere. Um, wherever you touch first is where it's going to be darker. We want to keep the darker toward the outside. So always, always keep the darker toward the outside and let it blend and fade toward the middle. So I'm just gonna blend with my fingers. Blend, blend, blend. So see how that's just creating a little bit of depth. And then when I don't have any expression, it goes away. So I need to work on that. Okay, well, let's do that. It's hard not to make an expression when you're doing your makeup. <laughs> okay, so I just want it to go up there. And if you get too crazy with it, you can go back and put in a little bit more biscotti to kind of tone it down. And then the, our colors are really layerable too. So if you don't have enough, you just put on a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, so we're blending down and then we're blending up. But I wanna keep my eyelids light and just really natural looking. So this is just creating some depth here. Perfect, I have a towel right here. I'm wiping off the extra color and then just blending. Blending. All right, now I'm going to go in with a little mahogany. This is so beautiful, you guys. So we have amazing colors. This is kind of a hot mess right now because this is my demo, but this is the one we're going to use right now is the mahogany and it's so pretty. So we can totally create some amazing palettes for you. I have a couple of little ones put together. These are the mini palettes. So you can do four colors. Isn't that so fun? So you could do the light and then a crease and then an accent, and then you can have a fun um, sparkly too for, so you have all sorts of options with that. So I have a brown one made up and then I have this purple one. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Tons of options with those. Okay guys, here we go. So now I'm gonna use the little smudger brush this little round guy, and I'm going to use some of the mahogany. So I'm just gonna dab into there like this. And then what I wanna do is just create this little angle on the outer corner of my eye down to my eyelid, or down to my um, lash line. So it's like a little triangle. Okay. Other side, you can start by just going above your lashes and then just kind of making it a little wider there toward the end. And like I said, you can totally layer these two if you want to go a little darker. So what I'm going to do is just a little cat eye out here on the end because, oh my gosh, you guys, it just changes the shape of your eyes and it, it makes your lashes look huge. I love it. So we have, um, our regular liquid eyeliner has been replaced by our waterproof, but we still have some of the regular. I love, love this. If you're in the market for waterproof, this is amazing as well. I'm going to just draw on the back of my hand here so you can see. And just really amazing precision with that. So if you set it on the end, you get a nice line. If you set it on the side, you can get a thicker line. So you're in control of what's going on here. I'm just going to use the regular today. And I'm gonna grab this mirror so I can get a little bit closer. So let's see here. I'm just gonna start kind of halfway, not even halfway. Let's start on the quarter of the way because you can always go back and do more. So just um, yeah, halfway would probably be right there. So I'm a little over a quarter of the way. So then I'm gonna make just a little line because I need a little help with where the line goes. So you want to follow the water line. And so it's just a little tiny wing out there, kind of like a wedge. So it's just going to change the look of your eye. See how it's kind of lifting the eye now? And once I get my mascara on, oh girls, it's going to be great. So I'm gonna start out here again. And just keep it really close to your lash line. If you didn't wanna do a wing, you don't have to do that either. 
um, kind of fudged a little there. Okay, now here's my little fake line. And just connect the dots like that. Okay, so now I got a little bit thick right in the beginning, so I'm just going to blend that out. And I could even do this too with a little smudger brush. Just blend it out. I could even connect that line a little bit more. It's fine. It's fine. All is well. You can even do a little bit of our oil-free eye makeup remover. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you haven't tried this, get it. There's a waterproof and a normal. Just give it a little shake. I'm going to just put a couple drops into the lid and a little Q-tip. This cleans things up right away. Easy peasy. Okay, I just have a little dot right there that I don't like. There, and it's gone. Okay, now one of my new favorite things is our mascara or a lash primer. Oh my gosh, you guys, I never used to use this and I am in love with it now. So it just helps to condition your lashes. It's so great. So it has panthenol and vitamin B3 and it is totally like a conditioner for your lashes. So it just helps to start to separate them and it helps for, um, helps to, um, allow for easier cleanup at the end so you're not rubbing on your eyes because we really need to be careful about the skin around our eyes. It's so much more delicate than the rest of our skin. So we just need to be really mindful of that and take extra special care of it. So you actually need an extra um, or a special cream for that area as well because um, because it, does, it has less sebaceous glands. It, it can't create the oil. Um, so we need a special cream that's not too thick, but thick enough. So here's the next, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. This is our new mascara. It's called Vanarama. Look at this brush. Can you see those little spikies at the end? Is that not the coolest thing? So you can really get in and separate your lashes with this. Limited edition. I hope they make it, um, like an always edition, an, a part of our regular line. So I'm just going to go straight on and just start adding and separating right from the very beginning. So it also has an hourglass shape. And if you roll it, then it turns into just kind of a barrel shape. So it's just great. Nice, creamy, black, rich, like I can't say enough about this. I also like to layer it with my lash intensity. Oh, oh my gosh, girls, our lash intensity um, adds 200 times the volume, if you can believe that. Lash intensity is 18, this is 16, our primer is 15, and the oil-free eye makeup remover is 17, so super affordable. Look at those lashes already. Isn't that so crazy? And so you can see how that cat eye just kind of disappears, but it makes um, makes my lashes look so much thicker and bigger. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more just so I can show you how big, ouch, <laughs> that wasn't good, how big these get. And so I do like to have a little bit more on this outside edge and really get those puppies fanned out. To kind of separate those guys right there. What do you think? Isn't it great? Oh my gosh, I love it. Let me show you the lash intensity really, really fast. So this has really amazing um, fluffy brush. So there's um, longer bristles and then you turn it and then there's shorter bristles. So you can really scrub it into the base and pull it through to the end. I'll do this on the other eye. I do like to layer them. Like I said, it kind of gives you the look of falsy lashes. It's so great. Do this a little differently here. Looks like I might be ready for a new tube. But look how it's already separating and adding volume. I have um, 
when we used to be able to have parties in person back in the day, um, I have watched this transform people's lashes. I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, look at your lashes. They look amazing. It's so fun. So, so fun to see that transformation and um, so rewarding. I just love, I just love my job. It's great. It's great. And I get my products for 50% off. I can tell you more about that if you're, if you're interested, because guys, I am a deal shopper and I would love to share that with you. Okay, so great. So let's just go ahead and finish our look. I've kept you guys here almost 20, oh my gosh, 25 minutes already. I talk a lot, <laughs> so sorry. Okay, so we just used a couple of colors today. We used the bronzer, we used biscotti, and we used mahogany, that's it. And then I wanna go back in with our bronzer on my cheeks. So the bronzer, we don't wanna confuse that with our um, contour. The bronzer is sparkly, and so it goes where you're going to be sun-kissed, and the contour goes down below to create a shadow beneath your cheekbone. So I'm not gonna wear any um, any contour today because we just want this to be a really light and natural look. So I'm feeling pretty good about the color on my cheeks. Sometimes, maybe I'll go in with a little bit more color. I do, I do like a little color on my cheeks. We've got some really great cheek colors. I'm going to use this darling pink today. That's been kind of fun and just really light for summer. I just feel like I need a little bit of blush going on there and not all tan. So I just like to do a little color wash on the, um, on my neck. So you can also, we have this amazing highlight as well. So we've got these two colors for highlight. So you can just put a little on your nose. If you want to do a little more shimmer if you're a shimmery girl and it's kind of fun to do like down here and on your um, collarbones as well on your shoulders in the summertime that's so so pretty put a little on your a little on your inside of your eyes love it love it okay so then we're gonna do lips and so i am dying to try i have never tried it our light color of lip liner i don't have any in stock so i need to get some ordered so i'm just going to use a medium um nude lip liner and let me just get this out so this is really close already to my natural lip color just really quick So just a little extra color. And then I'm gonna go on with some gold, golden lip gloss. Okay. So I'm happy with the color. It looks like I have a little sun. A little bit of shimmer on your lips. And so it's just a really natural look. All right, ladies, I can't wait for you to try this. I would love to be with you so I could see it on your face. But um, let me know if you have any questions at all. And we could even just get you started with a little um, color palette of the colors I used today. And the bronzer comes in a little packet like this. So um, that would be so much fun. So let me know if you have any questions at all. And um, I'll talk to you more um, in a little bit. All right, guys, see you soon.